that scene, especially the way his mask opens up. Oh, it's so awesome! Except for when he takes the mask off, it does remind me of looking at a yearbook photo of myself. Oh, hello, my name is Afo Mancho! Well, that fine young man that you saw in that clip there was played by Adam Driver is called a Kylo Ren, but I'm sure you already know that. Well, if you want a Kylo Ren action figure, a few options exist. Now, I don't have every Kylo Ren figure ever made, but as for the 3 and 3 Force version, you can get the articulated one that looks normal with his hood up, or you can get the uh, basic one with the very limited articulation with the hood down, and I really like both of them, and I try to head swap, and it doesn't work. But you know what? Hey, it looks pretty cool to me. But if you really want a bigger one, well, then you can get the Black Series version, and he is awesome. Now, this is the re-release. I found the re-release recently, and he looks so much better than the first version. The cloak looks so much better, and it's, you know, got the shorter uh, version down here. But the, uh, the sculpted part up here looks amazing, and it's absolutely amazing. I found the re-release of him and the re-release of Ray, and I highly recommend both of them because they just look so much better. Now, as if those figures aren't cool enough, there's also a Hot Toys one that's coming out very soon. And as you can see here from one of Fly Guy's preview videos, holy cow, it looks amazing. And man, oh man, I cannot wait to get that figure. Now, you might be saying, hey, foo, you know, those are really cool figures and all, but they're just not cute enough for me. Well, we've got that avenue solved too, because today's review will be on the following... Today's review will be on the Hasbro Star Wars Galactic Heroes, Kylo Ren, and look at this, it's so cute. Now I found this at Target, and when I saw it, I had to have it. Now I don't have any of these newer, updated versions of the Galactic Heroes line. Uh, I had a bunch of the older ones that they made, I don't remember, I don't, I don't know if they were under the Galactic Heroes, they might have been. I think they were just called Star Wars Heroes, I'm not sure. But I uh, had a whole bunch of those, but uh, this is the very first one that I've ever gotten with the newer articulation and stuff like that. They seem to be a little bit smaller. But you know what? These look awesome. Now, this is the only one that I've seen for Kylo Ren and any from uh, Force Awakens, and I'm really hoping they make more because this is so awesome. As you can see over there, he has a, a lightsaber slashing action, and that is awesome. Or maybe he's sneezing. He's in mid-sneeze. I don't know. But you know what? That is cool. So let's look at the back of the package, shall we? So, here's the back of the package, and as you can see, it's got his name. It's got a little tiny blurb over there. What does that say? It says, Adventure awaits in a galaxy far, far away with the galactic heroes of Star Wars. That's right. Stay away from that hole, though, Kylo. You could fall in there. Um, but anyways, did you learn nothing from your father? But anyways, uh, yeah, you'll see there he comes with, like, what is that, a little probe droid or something? Or maybe it's just one of those little sparring partners that, like, Luke had, but a black version of it. I don't know. It says, Twist to Strike. Yeah, when he doesn't want to be on the set, he will strike acting that day. That is cool. But anyways, there you go. It says, uh, don't give this to any little onion-headed people, because they will not like it. Uh, unless there's, like, three or more. If there's less than three, they won't like it. But anyways, there you go. It's got a bunch of words down there. Now, I really hate it when toys do this, when they've got all the little words here at the bottom, but they don't show off any of the figures from the line, because I want to know if there's more Force Awakens ones, because there's got to be. But I want to know what other toys there are in this line, so that kind of stinks. But anyways, let's look at the front of the package one more time. Oh, let's twist and shake, Kylo! So, here's the front of the package for the very last time, and yep, I just took a quick look, and it doesn't look like he has any little paper brochures or whatever inside there, which would show off the rest of the line, and that stinks, because I really want to know if there's more of these. So, yeah, the front of the package just looks like a hanger, just like the back, and yeah, he looks pretty awesome. So, I say we waste no more time, and I say we open this cute little guy! So, here's the cute little Kylo, fresh out of the package, and he is super cute, check him out! Oh, man, uh, like I said, when I saw this, I could not turn it away. I had to have it. And it's so cute! I love it! They did a really good job on his mask there. His costume is absolutely perfect. And he's super deformed. What more could you want? Now, you might be saying, hey, what kind of articulation does this little guy have? Well, he can do that. His little hands swivel. If he gets tired, he can sit down. And he has that really cool slashing action, which is awesome! Now, his head doesn't move very much, but really, look at the robes. Did you really think it would? Well, I did, but it doesn't. But anyways, you know, it's still pretty cool. So anyways, here he is. Let's look at him from behind, shall we? So, 
here he is from behind, and just like the updated Black Series figure, he has the more waffle-looking print on his little cloak there, and that's pretty cool. And they, the original one just looked a little smooth and lacked a lot of the detail. It's like they've went back and now they've, you know, tried to match what his robes look like, and I think that is awesome. Now, you're probably saying, hey, what did he come with? Well, you know he came with this little probe droid, which looks a lot like the owl ship from Watchmen, but... Looks pretty cool to me, and you can make Kylo slash and knock it all over the place. So that's pretty cool. So, here we go with a super duper close up look, and as you can see, they got all his little details there looking very awesome indeed. Working our way up to his face, check out his mask. They even got the little dent there at the front of his mask. That's awesome. That's some pretty good detail for such a little tiny silly figure. His cloak looks awesome. They got it all right with the, like I said, the little waffle print. That's pretty cool. Down here, you'll see his sleeve. Oh, he looks so cool. Oh, look at that. He's got, like, laser <laughs> lightsaber light flashing. Uh, no, it's actually this thing. And that's pretty cool indeed. There's the little... I don't know. I guess that's like a little uh, uh, practice droid. I don't know. You got me. And then over here, it's got... He's got his arm there and then his lightsaber. Now, his lightsaber isn't removable, but that's okay because it's so small. I mean, still. he got his lightsaber blades coming out there. That's pretty cool indeed. Goes up to a little point there. Looks very neat. Down here, this is the hardest. This part right here where he bends to sit down, that was the hardest part to move. It was like super stuck. So you may have to try really hard to make him sit down because mine was like, it had to crack the plastic or whatever. It was like, crack, and it finally moved. So there he is looking very awesome indeed. And now, if you get this figure, you can say, I will finish once you started. And honestly, just having that option alone makes it worth the $4.99 that I spent at Target. He's awesome! So anyways, there's the Galactic Heroes, Kylo Ren, and he is awesome. And I really hope that they make more Force Awakens ones of these. They may, for all I know, they're already out. But this is the only one I've ever seen. Literally the only one. I've never seen any more Kylos or any more Force Awakens ones. But you know what? I'm definitely going to look for them. So, hey, speaking of Kylo Ren, I just found out today that there's this little thing on uh, that was on Saturday Night Live recently. I think it's just been posted to YouTube because that's where I saw it. But it's called... It's called Undercover Boss Star Killer Base. That's right. They parodied the Undercover Boss series and Kylo Ren goes undercover to basically, you know, work with his fellow stormtroopers and Imperial officers. And they actually got Adam Driver to play him. And it's awesome! It is so funny. I This is absolute... I highly recommend seeing this. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. And judging from this photo that I just found online, there's at least one more Force Awakens figure, and it's a flame trooper, and that is awesome. So I know I'll definitely be looking for more of these Force Awakens little galactic heroes. So, until next time, tune in for more... So Reviews! <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where have you been? You, like, haven't been making videos or nothing. Come on. You need to make some more videos because I need something to watch. Jeez, Felsbug.